Hello, welcome back to another vlog. This is moving vlog number two, and we are picking back up pretty much where I left off in the last one. It's still day one in the apartment. I got the keys this morning. Where I ended the last vlog, I went back to my old apartment, took a little bit of a break, ate some dinner, packed up a little bit more, and then my friend came over and helped me. We loaded up both of our cars. I got Benny. He's back there. Benny. <laughs> there he is. I had a feeling we were gonna be here pretty late, and I was like, you know what? Let me bring my air mattress and some pajamas just in case I end up feeling too tired to drive back. I don't know. It feels weird staying here because like it doesn't feel like home yet, obviously. And like Benny keeps pacing around and he keeps going over to the door like he's ready to get the hell out of here and go back to his home. He doesn't get it, but I just feel so tired and I know I'm gonna wanna come back here first thing in the morning anyway to unpack and before i bring more stuff over i want to unpack what is already here so i'm like i may as well just stay the night here because it'll just make it easier in the morning i got benny's food i got the essentials i need so we're gonna stay here tonight and i just got ready for bed but i wanted to show you the progress that i made so far i mean it doesn't really look that much different from where i last left off but there's a lot more boxes in here now. We brought a lot more stuff over. I showed you guys in the last one, I had put the table together. We finished putting together the rest of the chairs. These are from Ernest. I have a discount code. If you would like to get these chairs, they're so cute and they're so comfy and i brought my bar cart over from the old apartment and i brought some stuff like paper plates and some oatmeal that way in the morning i will have something to eat and i don't have to keep ordering food in one of these boxes oh i think in this one i brought my nespresso machine yes and some pods so I can make coffee most important thing in the morning. In the bedroom, we put together one of these nightstands. How freaking beautiful. I am obsessed. It is so cute. I have another one that's gonna go on the other side of the bed, obviously, but I was just too tired <laughs> to put together the second one. But I love this. Like these knobs just look so vintage and it makes this look so much more expensive. And meanwhile, I got the set from Amazon and it was like just over a hundred dollars for the two of them together. Then that lamp is from Target, which I didn't get light bulbs for them. And I put my faux olive tree also from Amazon in the corner over here. I don't know if that's where it's gonna stay. My actual bed is the same size as this air mattress. So this kind of gives me an idea of how much space the bed will take up. I'm hoping everything will work out. I'm gonna have another nightstand there and then my mirror probably over here, my dresser, I think it's gonna go against this wall, which I'm hoping everything will fit okay. I might need to rearrange things in here. A lot of the stuff is to be determined. That is where we're at so far. I'm exhausted though, so I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep well. I feel like it's always weird sleeping in a new apartment for the first time, especially when you're not like fully moved in and fully unpacked. But I will see you in the morning for some more unpacking. Good morning. My fingertips are so sore from putting together furniture yesterday. I just want to sort through everything that I brought over last night. A lot of it is extra stuff that can go in the linen closet and in the bathrooms. And I did bring over some 
hangers and clothes. And I wanna do some measuring and kind of figure out where I wanna put everything. And I need to order new curtains, but I was waiting to actually be in here because I wanted to make sure I was getting the right length, but I wanna get light canceling curtains and just nicer ones because the ones I have in my current place are just like sheer white ones, which are cute, but I want like some thicker, nicer quality ones. I wanted to get either like a small dresser or just some like plastic drawers to put in the master bedroom closet. So I need to measure that as well. But last night was the way that it always is. The first night you sleep in a new apartment. I didn't sleep very well, especially because Benny was sleeping on the air mattress with me and he kept getting up in the middle of the night. Then like the ice maker was making noise. Every time the heat would kick on. It's like the noises of a home that once you're living there, you get so used to it that you just tune it out. You don't even notice those sounds, but when it's new to you, any little thing, like, you notice and it startles you a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee, go take Benny out, go check out the dog park, see if anybody's over there, and then I will continue cleaning and unpacking. Oh, but I put this little thing together in the master bathroom, which was so easy, and you can do different heights for this top shelf, but so cute. It's from Amazon. I'm gonna put my skincare stuff on there. The layout of this master bedroom is tricky because you have the bathroom door over here and then the closet door over here. To me, it makes the most sense to have the bed against this wall because this is just a clear open wall. And if I put the bed against the wall here, then it would be kind of awkward and like the bedside tables would sort of obstruct the door to the bathroom. So I feel like I have to put the bed on this wall. And that's how they had it in the model. So then my dresser would go over here. But the dresser that I currently have in my bedroom is way too wide. I mean, it's like the exact length of that wall. But then the issue is it comes out to about there, which if it's all the way up to the edge of that wall, it's literally blocking the door to the closet. And then it's gonna come out over there and just make that all really tight. So that's not gonna work. So I think I, I'm gonna have to get a new dresser and just get one that is taller and less wide so that it'll fit on this wall better. And then the one that I currently have in my bedroom, I guess I can just put in the guest bedroom for now. So I am going to Start organizing the guest bathroom. I pretty much have everything I think that's gonna go in here. So what I'm thinking is the master bathroom, because there isn't as much storage in there, that is just going to be like where I shower, I do my skincare routine, like morning and night. But as far as like getting ready, doing my hair, doing my makeup, I wanna keep that stuff in this bathroom because it's just more spacious and there's also more space to store all of those things so in here there are these pretty decently sized drawers so i'm thinking in here is where i'll put like makeup hair stuff or maybe like hair products like hair tools hair products maybe we'll see and then in here i can put like all of my bath stuff and like the extra things like the q-tips and cotton balls and all of that and then i also have this above the toilet too so i think up here maybe i'll just put like extra toilet paper and some like tampons and stuff and then on that shelf maybe i'll just do some decor or something so i'm gonna just play around with this and see what i come up with
my battery died so I had to put that to charge for a little bit but I'm making some progress and I am so excited because I live for this like I love organizing so much especially when you actually have space for things it's amazing so I'm still working on this drawer but this is gonna be makeup because I have a makeup case with all of my like everyday stuff that I wear currently because I, I like to kind of swap stuff out and you know but this is gonna be like my extra stuff but these containers fit perfectly in these drawers so I put all of my extra face brushes in one all the extra eyeshadow brushes in another this is my brush cleaner and then in this drawer this is where i am going to put all of my hot tools and like hot tool accessories so like those rollers this heat resistant pad and then i didn't put anything down here yet but this is where i think i'm going to put my hair products and i still have one more of these containers left so i think i'll put this down here and i can put clips in that so that way i'll have everything i need i'll have my hot tools my brushes clips and then products to do my hair makeup stuff in there and this will be the getting ready bathroom and then in here i want to i mean it's fine the way it is but it would be kind of nice to get containers or like baskets or something just so this stuff can be a little bit more organized and then i put this basket here i think i'm gonna put some feminine products i was gonna put the basket up here but it doesn't fit it sticks out too much and i don't want it to tip over and i put some extra toilet paper up there and then up here i put i have a set of three of these acrylic jars so i put one with some q-tips on here and then i'm gonna roll up the washcloths next to it and i think that'll be really cute and I haven't worked on the master bathroom quite yet, but I just brought over stuff. There's stuff in this box that I want to put in this bathroom. So I just kind of separated things based on what bathroom they are going to go in. But yeah, like these drawers in here, I mean, they're so nice to have, but they are really small. So they'll be good though for like just extra skincare and things like that. And like my headband for when I'm washing my face and those kinds of things. Good morning. I am back at the old apartment, obviously. I came back yesterday. I just got to a point where I just felt so exhausted. I think because I got such bad sleep the night before. So I was tired, my body was hurting. So I came back here and I took a nap, got some computer work done, and then went back to sleep. <laughs> So I feel great now. I just showered. I am gonna just do a little bit of makeup because like why not? I don't know. It just helps me feel more put together and I feel like I end up being more productive as a result. So I packed up a little bit more stuff last night. So I'm gonna head back over to the new apartment. I ended up ordering a new dresser for the bedroom because I was like, oh, well, I could maybe put my dresser in the closet but I just feel like that's gonna take up so much closet space and then what am I gonna have on that one empty wall like it's just gonna feel weird so you'll see when it all comes together like what my plan is but I measured I looked online I was trying to find a dresser that would be a good size but wouldn't be crazy expensive obviously that is why I'm all for like investing in good high quality pieces like yeah that's great but while i'm still renting i am not gonna do that because you just never know when you're moving around a lot stuff can get messed up and you never know it like when you move into your next place if the furniture that you have is going to work in that new space so it kind of sucks having to buy a new dresser when i have one that is still in good condition but I've had it for several years, it's from Ikea. I got it pre-inflation, so it was pretty cheap when I got it, and you know, I feel like I got my money's worth out of it, and if I can sell it to someone else, even better. But I found one from Walmart, and they said that it could get delivered next day, and I was like, 
okay and sure enough it literally got delivered this morning less than 24 hours after i ordered it so i am gonna go put that together all the reviews online said that it's super quick and easy to assemble so hopefully it is and that'll be kind of nice because then i will have a dresser in my bedroom and i can start putting some of my clothes away i'm still planning on keeping majority of my everyday stuff here at least for like the next week because i still have my lease here until the end of the month and i wasn't sure how quickly i was going to do the move so i scheduled my internet to transfer over in the middle of february so i'm just gonna be living wherever my internet is because without internet i can't get work done I can't watch anything on TV, so it's like, what, you know, what's the point? I am still gonna keep majority of my clothes here, but some stuff like bathing suits and tank tops and, you know, more summery stuff, I can bring over there and start putting away. So it'll be nice to have a dresser there now. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring some more stuff over there and just continue unpacking. And my friend is going to meet me over there. She actually has my carpet shampooer. So she's bringing that over so I can shampoo the bedroom floors. Cause I definitely wanna start doing that before I really start putting furniture in the bedroom. And I still need to assemble that second nightstand. Oh, and I ordered a drill from Amazon. I found a cute little pink one for 20 bucks. That is supposed to be arriving in the next few days. So I can start getting some stuff hung up and mounted. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna start loading stuff into the car. This is the part I dread. turn this music down we're doing a little like divorce dad rock station i am at the new place i just blow dried my hair doesn't look as good as when i do like a proper blowout obviously with my blow dryer but i'm just making do with the stuff that i have here so far but i just unloaded the stuff from the car my friend is on her way she lives pretty close to here, so she should be here like any minute. And she's bringing her dogs, so I'm excited for that because Benny has not seen them since before Christmas, I think. And her dogs are his best friends in the whole world. He gets so excited. I'm still trying to figure out this hair and how I want to style it and like how it looks best. I need to play around with it still. I just, because of the timing of when I got it done, I just have been so focused on, obviously, this move. Who's here? Is Zina here? Is Zina here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I okay, sorry I did not vlog the last couple of hours. My friend Haley came over, the dogs played, which was nice. We put together my new dresser. I just can't believe that it literally got here so fast and it was so easy to put together. I am going to put a link to this in the description. 10 out of freaking 10. From Walmart, it was like around 100 bucks. It literally got here in less than 24 hours and it was so fast and easy to assemble. Like you don't have to screw anything together. Everything snaps into place. The only thing you needed screws for was to screw on those handles. And especially because she was helping me, we did it in half the time. I think it took us 15 minutes, <laughs> if even, to put together. So nice. And it fits in that spot so much better. And the drawers, I mean, it's a pretty decent size and it feels really sturdy and like really good quality. And it has uh, things here that stop the drawers from sliding out, which is so nice. And then I have another small short dresser that I have coming from Amazon that I'm gonna put back there. And it's really low to the ground and that's gonna be socks and underwear and like that kind of stuff. And then this is the progress that I made in the guest bathroom so far. I had this basket already. So I think, cause this was like, kind of a big space. So I'm gonna use that as 
a hamper. And I feel like that makes sense. Like that'll be useful to have in here. And it fills that space with a little something. And then up here, I had that bigger basket above the toilet before, but I actually, I had this one and I feel like that just fits perfectly up there. And that way it's like more out of the way and it's a little more hidden. So I have the same stuff in here, air freshener and like some panty liners and tampons and wipes and stuff. And then I just put the extra toilet paper up there and a dossier reed diffuser. And I think that looks so cute. And then I can't remember if I, I don't think I showed the final result of these drawers, but Here's the makeup drawer. I was able to fit everything. I had to stack the brushes, but I mean, that is totally fine. That works. So everything is organized. Eyes, lips, powders, complexion, eyeshadows back there. And then this drawer with all of the hot tools. And then I still need to fill this drawer that is coming along this room i'm just gonna leave empty but i put i brought benny's crate and i put that in here i think that that'll help him get a little bit more comfortable here and understand like okay this is gonna be your new home and that way he has a place to go rest and nap i still need to put that second nightstand together oh i also cut my finger and of course i don't have band-aids here right now so, but it, it should be okay. It stopped bleeding, but needless to say, I'm not really in the mood to put together more furniture at this current moment. Oh, another thing. I hung this up. I had this mirror in the old place and I just think it's perfect to have right here by the door. So, you know, I can just do a last minute check before I head out. And then this I got from Amazon, these little hooks to hang my keys. So that is the progress that I made so far. I think I'm gonna just start putting stuff in that dresser and putting the clothes away. Okay, it's a couple hours later again, sorry. I'm trying to conserve memory on this SD card and my batteries. And like, as I'm doing stuff, I'm going kind of slow and I'm like putting something one place and seeing how I feel about it and then moving it and putting, you know, like it's just a process. So I'm like, I don't wanna just, like my camera is just gonna die if I try recording everything that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna update you kind of as I go along. Where I'm at so far, I put together that second nightstand and it looks so cute. I really love them. Then in the closet here, I hung up the clothes that I had. Oh, and I hung up my shoe organizer. So I have some of my shoes here. These hooks I am going to hang on this wall. I'm waiting for my drill to come because that'll just make it so much easier. So that's going to go on this wall and that's going to hold hats, belts, purses. Up here, this is exactly how I had it in my old place. My sunglass holder, acrylic drawers from Muji. And then this is just a craft box from the craft store and this is what I use to store and organize my jewelry and then I just put my perfumes up here I kind of want to put them on some kind of tray I have this thing which I guess I could do that again and my old place I had all my perfumes on there I don't know if I want to keep them like that but I feel like having them on something or like in a tray all together just looks a little bit nicer than them just randomly sitting on top of there I don't know and then I put my magnets up here on the fridge I was going to tape all my Polaroids but this double-sided tape that I have is old and there's barely any left anyway and it's just not very strong I tried to put one on and it immediately fell off so I'm gonna wait till I have better tape and then I'll put those on the fridge. I put my whiteboard on there. And I've just been taking all the empty boxes that are like still in good condition and I've been piling them up so that way I can bring those back to the other apartment and I can just keep reusing them. I have 
a lot of recycling to do though. Like all of that is what the furniture came in. And I need to coordinate and figure out when exactly my friends can help me bring over like my couch and my bed. I think I'm just going to grab my stuff and head back to the other apartment. I wanna say like, oh, I'm gonna go back home, but like this is also my place too. So it's like, you know, it's weird, but I'm just gonna call it old apartment and new apartment. So I'm gonna go back to the old apartment and stay there for the night and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I am back in the new place. I went and stayed at my old apartment last night and I'm glad that I did actually because I feel like that worked out. It's obviously more comfortable to sleep in my own bed and I was able to bring some more stuff over today. So the main thing that I brought is my bookshelf for the living room. I have the shelves in that box over there but I'm gonna set this up so I'll be able to unpack and get rid of some of these boxes as well. And you know, it'll just start making the living room feel like it's coming together a little bit more. And then I also brought these over. I had these in my bathroom. And to be honest, they're not really my style anymore, but I think I'm just going to put them there in the guest bathroom because I feel like something should go there on that wall. And I'm just gonna hang those up in the meantime since I already have it. And then I'll see how I feel if I like really end up hating it or I find something else that i like better later down the line then i can swap it out but i'm really just trying to make use of what i already own and not buy new stuff if i don't need it you know oh and then i also brought this over with all of my my office supply type thing so there's tape in there so i can put those polaroids on the fridge and i think today i'm gonna mostly just be doing some cleaning i got a band-aid for my finger god too funny i just want to go change the song and this is what came on next so here's what we got so far i kind of changed it up a little bit from how i had it originally at my old place and this isn't going to be the final product but it's kind of a good place to start and then as i get like all my stuff here i'll kind of fill it up with some more decorative like knick-knacky things but I like how the shelf is looking with my books it's pretty similar to how I had it before and I got my little propagation thing set up over here and I was originally gonna put that over here on this wall but I kind of like it over there I'll see once I have my couch and the rest of the furniture in here and then in the bathroom I hung up this wall art and i was gonna put the two of them side by side but i don't know i felt like that might have looked a little bit too cluttered for the size of this wall so i just did the one and i did the one that has like more neutral colors and i like how that looks are you taking a little nap you resting and sunbathing at the same time i also brought his basket with his toys over so i think now i am going to work on the kitchen a little bit i'm gonna hang up these polaroids sorry i haven't checked in in a while my battery had died so i left it to charge while i was doing some more stuff but let me show you what i did since the last time i checked in so i got all these pictures up on the fridge i hand washed all of this stuff because the dishwasher mm -hmm, i sprayed the inside of it and kind of wiped it down a little bit and now I have it running on a heavy duty cycle so it can disinfect and clean itself because it that is so disgusting that's like the drain thing for the sink slash garbage disposal filthy like it looks like I don't know I I, I have no words like 
when I got in here the first day, I immediately like came and I cleaned the kitchen and the floors and stuff. Like if you guys saw the last vlog, um, and it really, I was like, oh, it's it's pretty clean in here, you know. Like I kind of figured it would be, but I just wanted to do my own cleaning just to be sure. But it's like you know things looked clean on the surface, or just like on the surface things were clean. Even like I even pulled out the fridge to vacuum behind the fridge and it was clean. I was like, okay, this is nice, this is easy. But then when I looked inside the washing machine and pulled the dishwasher filter out and looked in the garbage disposal, those are the places where the filth was hidden. I just feel like whoever lived here before literally never deep cleaned their stuff because that is filthy and disgusting and has, I don't even know what is growing on that. The filter from the dishwasher literally had mold and like, I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'm gonna leave it there and I'm going to put in a maintenance request and see if they could just replace those things because I really don't want to scrub whatever is growing on them and I don't wanna use it after what I've seen, you know what I mean? So hopefully they'll just replace that completely. And the washing machine, let's see, it just finished a little while ago. Oh my God, so much better. I need to get my phone so I can use my flashlight. But the washing machine too, like you could see that there was just like some detergent scum buildup, which, you know, not a huge deal. So I sprayed inside the washing machine, I scrubbed that down and I scrubbed like all back in here along the edges because like that was looking kind of gross too yeah it's still there's still some stuff in there so i'm gonna have to run this again but that's looking better down in here i don't know what the previous tenants did it was just chunks of mud or dirt or something i don't know and i tried to vacuum it out but it was really like caked on in there. But it wasn't too difficult to clean. I was like, you know, I'm going to attempt to clean it myself. And if it's just too much of a pain or it's like not working and not getting clean, I'll put in a maintenance request for that because it's like, come on, like those, are the things especially when you're renting in an apartment complex and you're renting from a company not like a private landlord like those are things that they are supposed to take care of this apartment should be move-in ready like i shouldn't have to spend too much time cleaning stuff like that you know but i think that cycle like loosened everything up i like dumped some boiling water in there too to like loosen it up i think now i should be able to just like vacuum up whatever is left in there and then i'll just run it one more time because i am not putting my clothes in there until it feels completely clean the dryer looks okay though so thank god for that at least and i scrubbed the tub in here this was pretty clean but you know especially the bathtub like i would like to take a bath in here sometime soon but I'm not getting in a tub that I haven't cleaned myself first. You know what I mean? So gave that a good scrub. I shampooed the carpet in the master bedroom because it looked like they had did it before I moved in, but I went over it again myself. And I mean, as you can see from the disgusting dirty water over there, <laughs> gross. I know some people are probably gonna be like, you should tell them, you should tell them to come back and clean like I, I get the principle of the thing but i would honestly rather do it myself because then i know for a fact that is clean to my standards so yeah i'm waiting for this to dry it's almost dry i've had the ceiling fan going and then probably when i come back tomorrow or a different day i'm gonna do it again and i'm gonna just keep cleaning this carpet until the water runs clean or at least cleaner. I am planning on 
putting an area rug in this room so i mean it doesn't have to be like perfect because most of the floor is going to be covered but i just like before i really start bringing my stuff in here and putting my bed in here i just want to at least know that the carpet is not filthy you know okay this is gonna be my last update for this vlog i think because we are kind of getting down to the point where there's not really much else for me to do today and I'm getting kind of tired. It's a quarter to six. It's been a long productive day. So the dishwasher finished running and it was good cause it like loosened everything up in there. But oh my God, it is just so gross. Like this dishwasher, what's nice about it is you can take everything out and clean it. But clearly I don't think that this dishwasher was ever cleaned like i don't think anyone ever took the filter out so nasty so i pulled all the pieces out from down there and i gave all of this a good scrub and scrubbed in all the little crevices there was like rubber lining along the edges here that had mold on it so took that off bleached along the edges there scrubbed that so I think in here now is clean. I'm gonna leave this open so it can air out. And then when I come back, probably tomorrow, I'm going to run another heavy cycle. And then I'm gonna like wipe down every little spot and make sure that nothing is coming up and that it's like completely clean. And then all the little pieces that I took out, I have soaking in this bucket of diluted bleach. I mean, it wasn't too terrible. Like this stuff, it needs to be replaced. That is absolutely disgusting. This stuff though, it's salvageable. I think it just needs to be cleaned. And then the washing machine is still going. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish before I leave so that way I can open the lid and let it air out. That's where I'm at with the cleaning. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in a few days with a new vlog. So excited to continue the moving process. So I will see you soon. Bye.